Hey everybody, welcome to the Narrow Gate with Andrew Crossy. Please like and share and subscribe so that we can all grow together with the love of Christ, our Lady, and heaven and our church and our hearts. Um, this is a little follow up video to the, to, the, to the last video that I done, and it was about receiving our Lord Jesus Christ in the Blessed Sacrament. So the question is, did I get a battering for doing that video? And the answer is yes, and let me explain. But before I explain, I'm going to be reading a bit of scripture here, and it's 1 Peter um, 3, 15 through 17. Simply proclaim the Lord Christ holy in your hearts and always have your answer for the people who ask you the reason for the hope that you have, but give it with courtesy and respect and a clear conscience so that those who slander your good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their accusations. And if it is the will of God that you should suffer, it is better to suffer for doing right than for doing wrong. Folks, th that's a tough one. It goes on about the slanderous tongue. Do you know, um, if we're quick to react all the time, you know, less said, easy mended. More said, you just leave it, we leave a mess. So, um, yeah, so, you know, so that those who slander your good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their accusations. So, um, yeah, that's that's potent, yeah. So the tongue is brutal, folks. So sometimes we need to bridle our tongues. In fact, most times we need to bridle our tongues. I need a muzzle. <laughs> sometimes, especially when I'm coming up against it, people are attacking me and giving out to me, and I just want to... Anyways, I'm ranting here. But, um, yeah, that's... I, I really have to incorporate that little bit of scripture into this here um, video because... Um, it's important that we hear that it is better for you to suffer for doing what is right than doing what is wrong. So in that teaching um, with Jesus Christ truly present in the Blessed Sacrament, there's a lot of wrongs in my own heart and soul. And this is for everybody to discern for themselves that I feel in my heart and soul. And just ask the question, is it better to stand and receive or to drop to your knees and receive if it's truly jesus present if jesus appeared to you right now would you drop to your knees of course i would number two is it better and more reverent to sit receive on your hand or on your tongue as i say it's his body blood soul and divinity it shouldn't be in our hands who does that serve does that give more glory to god or is that a compromise um removing the patent for the little fragments that are under uh, from under our chins um, and or if Jesus dropped, he drops onto the patent. Um, the removal of that, all the little fragments going on the floor and been tramped into the ground. Who does that? Does that give glory to God? Does that give glory to Christ? Um, then there's the optional Archangel Michael prayer at the end of every Mass. It should be said at the end of every Mass. Zero compromise. He's the defender. He's the one that cast Satan out of heaven down onto the face of this earth. The one that seeks to sift and to destroy and to cause confusion in God's children. The ones that seeks to sift the one that seeks to sift our souls, the great unforeseen battle, the powers and principalities, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities, against the spirit of wickedness in high places. That's Ephesians six, put on the full armour of God. Um this is a battle, folks, and Satan, trust me. Um, wasn't happy with the last video. Um, a few things happened. Yeah, I did get a bit of a verbal attack after that. And it's okay. I love everybody looking in. I don't have any um, animosity or hatred in my heart. I just offer it up to God. Any suffering for doing what is right, I offer up to Jesus. For I'd rather suffer for doing what's right than to suffer for doing what's wrong. So anything that comes against me, the Lord says, rejoice. When the attacks come against me, Anthony, if they hated me, they'll hate you. That your, your reward's great in heaven. So it's great suffer for Christ. Great praise the Lord. Don't want to say that too much, just in case you get more of a pattern. But anyways, <laughs> I offer up for the holy souls. Okay, it's not pleasing. It's not nice. But yes, this is a battle. And the demons aren't happy. And the demons can work through our tongues to try and rip us down and to try and discourage God's children but you know what the gloves is off for Christ that is it I'm just going to speak what's in my heart 
I'm going to share what the Lord has shown me. I have to. And, I'm, and I share it with love and compassion. All, first of all, all love for him that poured his life out for me in the cross. That's it for him, for his glory, for his priceless atoning blood that died for me in Calvary. Um, you know, even during Holy Mass, and, and, and uh, uh, the week after during Holy Mass, um, it was very busy Easter Sunday. And Jesus was getting thrown out really quickly. Body of Christ, body of Christ, body of Christ, body of Christ, body of Christ. What is that about? I understand that there's a there's a there's a um, there's a big crowd in the church, and maybe they're they're busy. But at the end of the day, we all go to mass to receive our Lord. We all go to honor the King and to uh, show reverence to Jesus, to be with Christ. The world is rushed. Go out into the world. Go out into the city. Go out into the town. You see people running around with like headless chickens. When we're going to the, the house of the Lord, this house of worship, this house of sanctity, we need to show reverence to the king. It's not to be rushed. There's plenty of rushing going out in the world. And especially when it hands out Jesus, it doesn't need to be handed out when you're when you're when you're giving out Jesus, the body of Christ, body, blood, soul, and divinity, folks. Now on Easter Sunday, thrown out really quick, what happened? Jesus was dropped on the floor. No patent underneath. The individual went down, picked him up, put him into the mouth and just continued to hand out Jesus really quickly. There's a disconnection, folks. We have to reconnect with our Lord in our hearts to his Eucharistic heart. It's a gift that has been left behind for us. And the way he's been treated, he's not, he's grieving. I know that he's grieving. So if there's one we if there's one we soul that's looking in that has the courage to drop down to their knees and receive our Lord who loves you, He gives His life for you, He gives Himself in that species of bread, His body, blood, soul, and divinity. Um, that daily bread that's mentioned in the Our Father prayer, give us this day our daily bread, not like the bread your fathers ate in the desert. And are now dead. This is the living bread that came down from heaven. Folks, we need to get back. We need to get serious about Jesus' presence in the Eucharist, body, blood, soul, and divinity. He needs to be honoured. It is the greatest gift given to us. And um, yes, I took a bath there and after, but you know what? Um, as um, as I said, one of the guys, um, three, three guys showed up. One's vomiting. Wheel falls off the trailer. And the subframe bro- uh, breaks and, and the other gentleman's car. Three lads, sorry lads, they know who they are. But what are the odds of three people getting whoosh, taken away from me in one day when I desperately need help? So it's not easy making these videos, folks. You know, because there is an attack that comes along with it and um, a spiritual battering that comes along with it, you know. So that's why we must put on the full armour of God. Look, I'll end it there. Um... Jesus is truly present and he truly loves you. Please just be more attentive when you're walking up to receive our Lord Jesus Christ, body, blood, soul and divinity in the Blessed Sacrament. Please, folks, just unite your heart to his Eucharistic heart as you're going up to receive him. Just drop down your knees if you can. And if you can't, just receive him on your tongue. Give glory to God. Give glory to Christ the King. Viva Christore. Long live Christ our King. God bless you all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.